The family of Pat Thompson Ogunsonwo has finally bade farewell to Baboba as he was committed to murderers on the 17th of February 2023. Thompson Olawale Ogunsonwo, popularly known as a superior evangelist, was laid to rest after a richly fulfilling life sojourn. Ogunsonwo was the father of the highly respected monarch Dialara Villara, or by Olufo Larin Olukayo de Ogunsonwo, who was called to glory on Saturday, January the 21st. The funeral service held at the Gunsons compound in Ekbe. <laughs> Guests gaily dressed in white fila and gaily on Ankara were entertained at a reception with lots to eat and drink. Earlier, the son of the deceased, Yalara of Ilara, or by Olufo Lari Olukayode Ogunsongo, was seen welcoming the guests. We caught up with him as he shared warm memories of his late father, describing him as his hero. Prince Thompson Olawale Ogunsongo, known as Baba Oba, was my hero. He... He's... Someone who was patient, diligent, that trusts in God, that believes in hard work, then that is very, very loyal, and that is a very, very loving person. He loves his children, he loves his wife, he loves his uh, family, the members of his extended family. Even in his community, where he lived for so long before he passed on, and even in our native community here, he's well respected, always very calm, and uh, I would say he was my best friend. We the deceased daughter in law, Olori Bolanli, who was beautifully dressed, also relieved fond memories of the late Baboba. His surviving grandchildren were not left out of the occasion. Jensu, nice man. Baba owns the house. Baba is the pillar of the house. So, we are going to miss him so much. Baba is not even my father-in-law. He's my father. He took me like his own daughter. He was a person of principles. He was a very disciplined man. He was a very responsible man and hardworking. He was also very neat during his time. And I'm going to miss my grandfather because of the care he showed to us his grandchildren. He took us like his own children. And I pray that the Lord will grant him eternal rest and peace in the mighty name of Jesus. Grandpa is a caring man. He loves his grandchildren so, so much. He doesn't joke with us at all. I remember when we were in primary school, he would always pick us up at the gates, wait for our school bus to come, pick his children up, take us into the house, take our uniforms, wash. Other well wishes brought encomium on the late Baboba and advised those he left behind to live enviable lives just as he did. Ah, I do not mean poor to re you know me do think about be she seen me. Ah, I could if I say for Allah, me to repay that day. See for Allah, one more she talk on talk on your boy. See, I for jury, I did repass a Baba on Lara one. Kabiesi oh, uh, and Olori, they are very special to us in Bosco. Um, we had uh, one of our medical missions right in his palace. 
and he assisted us with everything needed to make it a success. Everybody came in Ekpe and it was a successful medical mission. And that mission was run and sponsored by our governor, Dr. Babajide Sanwolu, and the first lady of Lagos, Dr. Ebijoke Sanwolu. So they did tremendously well. And KBAC supported us all the way. And there were so many people he assisted in transportation, in bringing people from different parts of Ekpe. And it was a huge success. Uh, we, we really appreciate KBAC for his love, his kindness. That is why we are here, because he's always been a supportive father to us. And in addition to that, you can see that we're here supporting him, that even as daddy has transited, but we're here supporting our KBSC for the good works. And this teaches us something, the good works we do live after us. King Guasiu Aindema Shah was on ground to entertain the guests. Born to Pa Haruno Martins Ogusongwo and Madam Tanimowo Ogusongwo in 1937 in Ekpe Division of Lagos State, Babaoba was the last out of seven children. <laughs> 